everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I am making this random video that is a little bit different than my usual content. For any of you who have followed me for a good many years or whatever, you've heard me say that I am a writer. Now I have been a writer since I can remember, since before I knew how to write. <laughs> I know, I was, I, I was such a nerdy kid, I would ask for books and I had to have like my, my brother's paper, the one that he did his homework on, not the big chunky stuff that I had to use, right? But his paper and a pen, not a pencil, a pen, so that I could copy the letters that I saw in the book. And I just loved, you've heard a lot of writers say this, that we love how the ink sinks into the page and it makes the page all crinkly and the whole bit. So when I was in second grade, yeah, I'm going back. When I was in second grade, Mr. Colby, probably one of the best teachers ever, um, read my short story to the class and it was like about the spooky old house and this dog runs into a house and there are ghosts. So my first, it makes sense that I'm a metaphysical writer. <laughs> I write other things too, but like, yeah, I was obsessed with like ghosts and spirituality and all that from a very early age. So that was really when I found a passion for storytelling. Now, as a writer, can writing be incredibly tedious? Oh yeah, but we'll get into that. So when I was about 13 years old, I used to do writing marathons where I truly would rather stay home and write until early morning hours, <laughs> creating a story, putting something down, creating characters, than kind of doing anything else. So that's kind of the background there. And of course, I took some turns in my life and tried out everything because it's my belief that if you're going to be a writer, you first and foremost have to be an experiencer. You have to be out living your life. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me uh, beyond being 13 years old and you know not experiencing and sitting at home and writing. <laughs> it occurred to me that you know get out and have the adventure. Get out and see other cultures, live in other cities, see what life is like, test yourself to have to adjust to another way of life and then turn that into your story or turn that into storytelling if it's fiction. So when I was in my mid twenties, I decided I wanted to go to grad school. I, it's a long story around grad school. If you guys have, if you're going into an MFA program, feel free to email me. We can chat or chat down in the comments if you have questions about that process. I know it backwards, forwards and sideways, okay. <laughs> it was a lot that I went through with that. But uh, I ended up choosing to go to New School University in New York City. Now I chose this despite having another offer. I even had, can you, you guys are gonna call me crazy. I had a scholarship <laughs> to uh, the University of New Hampshire. I won, I won a scholarship for uh, female writers and I ended up going to New York. Why? Because it was New York, <laughs> right? I needed that life experience and my time in New York City, I think really shaped and developed me uh, as a person and as a writer. And I had some horrifying things happen. Uh, and I had some really beautiful things happen as well. And I have been writing novels for quite some time. Now, the first couple of novels that I wrote, I feel like those were probably more just for me, kind of processing some of the things that I had experienced in my life. And then I finally got to a place of, let me get back to my roots of writing what might be considered a paranormal or metaphysical work. Uh, if you guys don't know, I also spent over six years working at Penguin Random House. I was there uh, <laughs> when it was Random House and left for right as it was becoming Penguin Random House. I worked for two of the CEOs there, ended up in the operations department. I was there when Fifty Shades of Grey was published and none of us in the earliest meetings could remember the name of the book. Uh, and of course we all had our hot reads. So whatever was really hot out, out there in the world, um, we all had to read it. So we gathered around the Flavia machine. I think I've told you guys this one or two times, <laughs> having some very interesting conversations. So 
this has kind of been my experience with writing and publishing. And I have noticed, the reason why I'm making this video, I have noticed that a lot of my clients who come along, they are working on a book or um, you know, they, they use journaling to get their emotions out or to spiritually connect or what have you. So as a form of expression, I highly recommend that even if you don't fancy yourself a writer, to give it a go. And I'm okay, I'm gonna put this out there and see how people respond to this video, but I'm okay going on the journey with you. I mean, why the heck not? Why don't we form a community of writers here? It doesn't have to be spiritual writing, it could be any kind of writing. And uh, we can just sort of hold each other accountable and make sure that we are doing the work. Again, I went through the whole MFA program. If you want me to come on and do some of those kind of talks about how to get involved, how to get started, how to you know, develop the character and all that stuff. I mean, we can definitely have those discussions and people can add what they have learned in the comments down below. So I can start this off if you want to. I'm gonna set a challenge for all of us who are watching this to journal two pages today when you're seeing this and try to write whatever it is that you wanna write, whether it's poetry, prose, a song, whatever you wanna do, but be in that process for one hour. And even if that first 15 minutes of that hour are not very productive, if you're just doing the whole just free write, just getting all that stuff out on the page, so be it. So two journal pages today and one hour of writing. Comment down below, give a thumbs up when you've accomplished this, and let's keep this momentum going. Let me know what you think. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.